I start now with this one. Uh, we're leading up to the blanket in the saddle, and uh, this little young horse challenged us. So we raised a uh, more difficulty, and you'll witness it here. He learns to take a side pass, plus learns some more correction. Thank you. Today we're going to work on uh, getting a saddle on him, maybe. At least getting a pad on him in uh, a sequence and using a blanket again. I won't particularly be climbing up on him to ride him, uh, but that's our goal for today. Uh, we'll also be putting him back through some of the basics, which you'll see me do again and again. All these do, they do several things. One thing is it locks you back in as, as being the boss hoss, but at the same time, it gives him a sense of stability to where he knows that uh, you're in charge and it gives him a chance to test you and to uh, get reinforced that he is the number two horse and not the number one horse. It, give, it gives you a good uh, foundation to work on. I do have the saddle and all my uh, equipment that I'll be needing today sitting close by once again for him to get used to working with. Let's, let's see what we can get done. Again, we're just going to go run back through just a couple of the basics. Not everything, but just enough to allow him to make a mistake if we need to. It is a colder day. Uh, it's towards the end of the day, so He's tired and I'm tired, so uh, we'll get out here and, and see what we can get done. Now, when, when, when you're tired, it also gives you a chance to improve yourself and, as far as your focus and uh, building the discipline to do these things that, that need to happen, and especially in the beginning. Now, here he is just right away telling me that he, he's being cooperative. It's just incredible as to how fast these horses will come around. So we're going to ask him to take a step back. On one side. And then we're going to go to the other side. Ask for the same thing. We've got a good, good back end. And we're going to ask for a front end turn around. And again, just use as lot of pressure as possible make sure that you're looking over their hip. Now what this young horse did was decided we're going to do it this way today. So this, this will give us a chance to do an easy correction to establish who we are without having, having to have a major fight. And anytime you do these things that you know your horse knows how to do, then you got something to come back to. You, you can't really correct them on something they don't know. It may sound strange, but if we give them a chance to make a mistake on something they know, then we got something to work on. Because the correction process is very, very important, that they understand that we're correct. We're going to ask him again. He's trying to walk out of the turn, so we're going to ask for another one. Keep, keep it moving. And we know he know he's, he's aware of how to do this thing walking out of it again. So the first thing we're going to try to give it the opportunity is to raise the, the level of difficulty. We're going to ask him to walk sideways. He doesn't want to do a turnaround, so walking sideways is, is half a turnaround and, and decidedly more difficult than the turnaround. So we're going, to, we're going to do a little overkill here, which at times is... Uh, way better than to show them there is an alternative, you know, and, and, and or, or we can do the easy part, which is the turn. And I like to walk them back and forth a few times. And basically what you're doing is front end, back end, front end, back end. And, I, and just put pressure on, my, my left hand is pressure on the back end, my right hand is pressure on the front end. And I'm looking straight across her back saying walk over that way. Alright, let's see what I get now. 
come back to it again uh, guys with your horse this this is just showing you some examples with your horse make sure you take the time it takes to do these things pick one or two things that you know they, they're aware of go do them and give them a chance to undo you but give them a chance to make up mistake. I'm not setting them up for failure I, what you're doing is you're setting your horse up to where they can learn what it's like for you to correct. Now everything's in place. We're looking over his hip. And he, he's naturally carries over the saddle, which is fine. Now he's got his head over me. He's going to push me back to the saddle. So we're going to ask him again. Move him over. Now he's refusing. So remind him of who's in charge. I'm going to make the horse move his feet, as you can see. It's as simple as this, folks. If you just make them move their feet, now I'm going to tell him to look at me. You do the same thing. Now the head comes down. He's being submissive. Well, let's try it one more time. He's, you can see the horse smacking his lips. Look for these things with your horse. Now we're going to ask him one more time. The movement. Now, that, 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 that was the tough correction. The first correct, the, the extra work was, was one form of it. But making him get out of my space because he, he was necking over. And if your horse starts necking over you, back him off that way. And we're going to go the other direction. And this is the direction where he was giving us the hardest time. see I'm asking a little slower make sure you ask your horse a little slower don't go getting snappy with it even during your correction your your speed of asking needs to be the same don't don't go getting real intense with them because your horse is going to get intense and then you just set the mood for the rest of it get back in Correction. It was, it was a nice reaction for him today. He learned something about the situation. And that, I would say, is probably, especially with your horse, it's going to be just as important as anything else you'll get done that day.